Are, are you and your colleagues surprised by the rapidity of the drop in mortgage rates? Yeah, it's a pretty dramatic drop if you consider that uh, just a few months ago, people were worried about rates going over 5%. Yeah, I mean, and, and subsequently, are you surprised by the amount of activity in the refi market? I mean, I can't believe how rate sensitive so many people out there are. Yeah, so refi is a pretty you know straightforward business. When the rates drop, you get a big spike in refis. And if you recall last year, we, we had a lot of rates that were pretty high. So a lot of people who maybe got into a home last year are thinking maybe I could refi. And then there are a lot of people who had thought maybe they had missed the opportunity to refi and are now getting back in the game. So we definitely see a big spike in refi volume. It happens every time that rates drop. Yeah, today, this is the most important time of the year for housing. I mean, this is literally Diana Olick, our real estate reporter, said, you know, you want to list your house literally this week to get the best deal. Is this kind of the positive, perfect storm for housing? Seasonally, the economy is doing okay. It's the spring selling season, and rates have dropped so dramatically. Yeah, definitely. I think you know everybody's housing expectations have increased because of the rates dropping. And in the spring, traditionally, people try to get out there and get their homes sold or get, get into a new house. So it's definitely coming at an opportune time for home buyers and for home sellers because it means that people who are trying to buy out there can afford a little bit more with the lower rates. You guys can see the data. I mean, on your website, you can tell how many people are poking around either for a new mortgage or to refinance. So the data that you're seeing is it giving us any indication of how this housing market and the spring selling season will go? Uh, yeah, so we've seen a spike in refi, like you said, but we've also seen an increase uh, in purchase inquiries. And what we're seeing is that a lot of borrowers are getting you know, pretty good rates. Last week, we had about 37% of borrowers getting rates of 4.25 and below. Uh, so that's encouraging, and we're seeing the volume come in from buyers and also from refi people. Based on that poking around on new mortgages, is it, is it fair to say it, it's shaping up to be a decent or good or great spring selling season? Um, I think I'll probably go with decent. I wouldn't quite go with great. One of the challenges is that we've had a run up in home prices, you know, basically since about 2012, we've had about a 50% increase in home prices, but incomes have only gone up maybe 15%. So it's still pretty expensive for some folks to get into a house, and there are a lot of folks who have a challenge with affordability. So this improves the prospects for housing in the, in the spring, but I wouldn't say it's great. It's probably just going to be a good, decent spring. Well, part of the problem has been, you know, you can only buy what's available for sale, and there hasn't been a lot of supply in certain hot housing markets, probably like where you are, Tendai, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Any indication that inventories are going up at all? Are people willing to sell? Yeah, so that's been the big challenge. The inventory has improved a little bit if you look at uh, the new, ho new home sales releases and the existing home sales releases, but it's nowhere near the amount of inventory that we need to have. And most concerningly, the inventory is tightest at the lower end uh, of the price point. So the more affordable homes, there's a lot of demand for those homes and just not enough supply for people out there who are interested in buying a house.